obviously not a good day for flying today, so we're gonna destroy control surfaces instead. Just hold it, or sit on it. Okay, that is a 16 gauge structural steel stud is what we were cutting that out of. That be a good job for you because I don't like being cut. And I just love being cut. <laughs> so you can smooth those edges on the. Should we get a grinder? Okay. Well, since this whole video is your idea, tell them what you're planning on doing. We're gonna test the uh, old rudder baiter that shot. We're gonna test it to failure under what a, a load test yes torsional load test and it's going to be super scientific using no. scientifically standardized balances and it's weight it's going to be hellbill anymore so bricks this is to make people feel better about the run raiders yeah, for when the time inevitably comes when people start running with cracks and all kinds of imperfections in their rudder meters because there just are no more, they can possibly. refer back. Also, for whoever's designing a replacement, so, at least they'll have some basic information. I don't need too much footage. Yeah, I need all kinds of footage, Dad. You just. You just worry about what you're doing. I'll worry about making well, a good video. Oh, this is where we're doing it? Okay. Use that one. So this is the rudder baiter that we are going to be experimenting with. I don't even, I haven't looked at this in a while. It is definitely shot. Uh, oh yeah, that would be why right here. Uh, hanger rash is what claims a lot of bonanzas. Are you sure this is off of a E series? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I think this is probably E. It could be. It could be one of the heavier bonanzas. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt that this is not repairable. Uh, but it'll be a good test subject. So apparently, my task here is to get bricks. Dad's task is to be the smart one. So I have no clue what's going on. He just tends to do, he gets great joy out of not sharing his plans with me. So I'm just getting a bunch of bricks from here and hoping that his plan is going to work. I don't really know one way or another. So we'll see what happens. I feel sorry for that rudder meter though. I'll get you this much, and I think that's enough. If we need more, 
can grab more. I mean, I guess it's gonna probably take more than that. I don't know. I don't know how strong they are. I feel like that's a good start. One ways. Uh, Might have to unlock the bottom of that stick. How do you unlock? <gasps> oh, I don't know. Switch on the bottom. Oh. Oh, now should work. And brick one. Hopefully this doesn't break the scale. 197.1? No, 1,971 grams. Yeah, this doesn't have that many significant figures, but that's fine. Brick two. Zeroed. Nineteen seventy one. Wow. This must be designed fairly to fairly specific tolerances. Within one gram, that's surprising. Number six. Nineteen thirty three. Average of nineteen seventy one point five G. One thousand nine hundred seventy one point five grams average base. That looks pretty reasonable. Four point three five LBS pound. Four point three five pounds. Cool. Okay, go. Okay, we're getting ready to do a test of an unairworthy renovator. Trying to determine the torsional strength of this old renovator. This renovator has been in storage for 30 years. 20 of it was in a basement and the other 20 has been out in this hangar. So there's some minor corrosion, etc. But this is a test so that others will know the torsional strength if they're trying to develop an alternate rotivator. Here we got two knife edge supports, which is the same as what you use in a balance of the rotivator. Here we have a support that will absorb the torsional rotation. So it is not a knife edge. It had to have holes drilled in it securely attached to a workbench. So let's see if we can find the correct link bolt to bolt this in. Before we can actually do any testing. <laughs> okay, get your notepad. I guess to be perfect, we would have needed the exact weight of each individual brick, but we're no, just going to estimate. Down, that's how they do testing. Testing is not perfect, it's just a general idea. They don't care how many ounces it took to break them. Okay. Well, I have a good place to write. But I don't write yet. We don't know what well, I know, but... Video me. I'm ready. All right, shoot. Start of load test. 3.0 inches, top of trailing edge. Okay, we're just going bricks. Shut it off. Not, why not video putting the bricks on? Just because keep Because it's going to be a bunch. Well, this is an example of what it's like. Notice evenly loading. Yeah, those are exactly the same distance apart as you can see. Equally loading leading edge to trailing edge, basically. I 
Okay, Ben, what's the estimation of that weight? 43.5 pounds. Okay, good deal on the scale. We're at 3.2. I assume that is in focus. Okay. 3.2, so write that down. Okay, we need more bricks. Well, that should do it. That's a lot of weight. We're at 19 bricks? Yep. Okay, so we have 19 bricks pretty evenly distributed throughout the entire uh, surface. You can see our attachment points. Maybe the lighting is so bad here. Got it fixed here on the knife edges, and we are now at 3.3. Eighty two point six five pounds. Okay, more weight. One more. These things may not flex, they may just collapse. We're not gonna do that many more bricks. Well, I wonder what these are rated for. There's no such thing as a rating. This is they don't test these. This is going to be a test they did in the factory, obviously under more scientific Probably conditions. Back in those days, yes, but they're, they're not the exacting test or anything. A lot of times you test it to failure, so you want to know how far it goes before failure. Okay. How many is that? What? Nine plus nineteen. Twenty-eight. Yeah, hundred and twenty-one point eight pounds. Twenty-eight bricks. How much weight? Hundred and twenty-one point eight. And our distance is Ooh, boy, it came down that time. Three point five. Take it to failure. I guess. What else are we doing this for? What are we gonna damage when that thing fails? Any of these airplanes? Oh, uh, look. I guess it's clear. There's nothing down there you're gonna hurt. <clears throat> yeah, well, we guess we need more bricks. Okay, we're very close to failure, so we've made some additional provisions to protect stuff. Also added a chain back there. Here goes. We're real safe here at Weeks Engineering. Here, aren't gonna probably make it fail because they're minus five. Okay, there's five. That? 143 uh, pounds is 143.55. Uh, the bricks is add what you added to whatever number you had there. Five and 28. Okay, so then 33, 33 bricks. Is the total weight? <clears throat> 143.55. And you read that. Don't get too close. I, I can't get close enough to read it because if that thing breaks, you're going to be hurt. Uh, 3.5. Three I want to say 3.7. Yeah. Close enough. <clears throat> So that's about five eighths of an inch that's deflected. Did you really want to keep going? Well, I think that is all the information they would need to test anything they came up with. 
because as you can see, that rotavator can take the load. Yeah, and this is a weathered rotavator that's been out in the weather for who knows how long and then stored a non-climate controlled hanger for a while. So it wasn't a perfect rotavator by any means. Yeah, I guess let's just stop now because that way if any of them want it for some reason they want to do other testing, we haven't destroyed it completely. Also, another important thing is when we go back to no weight, we'll take that reading again and it should have recovered. We can tell how much it didn't recover. Okay. Okay. Okay, now we are in the recovery phase. Uh, Rotovator recovered to 3.1. So... So you had a tenth of an inch that it stayed. Distortion with the test. Hmm. Well, there it is. That was riveting. Well, and this is still intact. If anybody else needs uh, an old scrap rotator to do tests on, I think we've done about all the damage we can do. Throw on the brick pile. Oh yeah, though. Yeah, there's the amount of bricks that the rudder baiter sustained, evenly distributed, um, and it did not fail.